Hello, welcome, I'm Danny. This big box, little box, arm box. And today we are unboxing <coughs> Goat Simulator 3 Goat in the Box Edition. Big box, little box. <laughs> Official holographic seal on there. And as you can see, you've got a goat in the box. Yeah, this shrink wrap off. Take off this plastic sleeve. We've got our goat cart. So if you'd like to display your goat in its cart, then this is for you. But let's open this up. What I smell to this box, I don't know why. But the first thing we come to is this beautiful steel book. A little bit of Red Dead Redemption theme there of me things. And then on the back, you've got that even more lovely view. That's a winner. That's probably the best steel book I've ever seen. Then we've got the standard case. And then we have this little pack here and this. Let me go for this first. That's a silver. So, first card we've got is Flyman. And on the back, it's got Goat Simulator 3 bug report. Send bugs to find the developers. So you got bug one, two, three, four, five, six, five actually, I overcounted. Coffee Station North. So that's a nice little Easter egg card. You've then got De La Creme Pilgola, a model card for that particular goat. And it's just got like your basic postcard back in. You got greetings from San Angora, so that's nice. You got stamps on it. We have, just like Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition, you get a map of the whole island, which is a beautiful thing. And it says, I am legend, you got your goat tower, instinct shrine, and war table secrets. And then on this side, you've got, which I'm sure is probably a throwback to the greatest showman. And then, of course, the creme de la creme, you have your goat plushie. I've just seen something that I didn't realise when I ordered. And he's got a Velcro tongue. You can make it longer. You can then Velcro it back on itself. So... Hang it from anywhere really. If you have hoop earrings, you can hang it from your earrings and then you've got if you've got another one, these got goat earrings. How good's that for Comic Con or um Goat Festival? Just check the inside of here. So on the inside we've got a bit of a Bohemian Rhapsody themed inner with goats. And we have the beautiful soundtrack that I've placed upside down in the case. Um, it's a Goat Simulator 3. And then within the game case itself, we have three other gear and the digital download edition, downgrade, I should say. And the disc, yeah, the digital soundtrack, the pre other remastered skins and gear. I believe you also get a code for a 3D printer file to print some things from Goat Simulator, so that's nice. Well, I can't see it on here. I'll have to update you in the comments below. Yeah, as far as collector's editions go, this was a bargain. I think it was £50, I believe it was, a um, game in the United Kingdom, which is the price. I mean, as well, it's cheaper than Call of Duty, really. And, I mean, Call of Duty doesn't have... That on a plushie, does it? In fact, it doesn't even have a plushie. It's not a huge collector's edition, as you'd imagine, for that money. But for the money, I think it's really good value what you get. And it's a bit of fun. So, if you can get hold of one, go get it now. That'd be my advice. So, if you've got any questions, drop them below. If there's anything else you'd like to see me unbox or review, let me know down below. Um, please subscribe, really helps the channel. Desperate to get to 200. 
then a thousand, then a million, then a hundred million, then Mr. Beast. Let's put it like that. So yeah, if you can like, subscribe, thank you very much. I've been Danny. It's been Big Box, Little Box, Unbox, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Big Box, Little Box. <laughs>